Brian Kelly <laughs> started quipping with a uh, a reporter that uh, that was late to <laughs> to a press conference. And you know we'll just play it and then we'll we'll rehash what actually happened here. But good gracious, uh, this is this is too good. And and now we're uh, excited about the weekend. So with that, we'll uh, we'll open it up to this late arriving uh, media crowd that uh, must have uh, enjoyed the the weekend. Um, that's usually ten dollars um, that we put in the kitty um, for. We'll, we'll have a big bash at the end of the year. At my place. <laughs> I don't think it has anything to do with winning. I think it has to do with being on time. All right, here we go. Brian, right here in the middle. So, in case you did not hear that, he, of course, is getting on to somebody for being late to the press conference, which, by the way, uh, we'll explain who this is momentarily, but Brian Kelly started the press conference early. He started, apparently, he got to the podium like six minutes before the scheduled time, which is very interesting. Uh, but he says that. He he makes a couple of jabs. You know, it's $10 if you're late to the press conference. Well, the reporter decides to jive back with, maybe I'll be on time, or maybe if you win, I'll be on time. How awesome is that? And the reporter that did that was Leah Van. She said, press conference was at noon. I was running from a doctor's appointment, got there at 11.57. Brian Kelly called me out, said jokingly I owed him $10. I said if he won, maybe I'd be on time. Not my finest hour. I apologized. He was super chill and said I still owe him $10. Now, she also said, I know Brian Kelly likes to joke. He clearly took it as one from our conversation afterward, all in good fun. And then he said he needs. Uh, he said he needs $10 so he can afford his new jackets. And I said he has $90 million for that. He said that's a smoke screen. And I said that's fair. And I liked his new jacket. And he thanked me. So that's the details from this. But I will tell you, uh, yes, I can understand joking and whatnot. But when you see somebody that makes a joke and then somebody immediately flashes right back at them and they don't know what to do, that's what Brian Kelly did in this match. He froze for just a second. He, he did not expect a comeback. But if you don't win at LSU... You're going to get that kind of stuff. Just saying. I remember listening to Bobby Bear back in the day. I remember how these things went. Anybody that listened to Bobby Bear on WWL, if you listen to Bear after, uh, and that's T-Bob's dad, by the way, but if you listen to Bobby Bear ask questions to Les Miles after that 2011 National Championship game, <laughs> they will get on you. I'm telling you. So Brian Kelly... Uh, it might be in your best interest to uh, whoop up on Southern this week and then take care of business against Mississippi State next week. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.